Have you guys ever wondered how many styles of investing there are out there on the market? We literally have long-term investing. That includes growth, income, value. You have swing trading, day trading, momentum movers, penny stocks, OTCs slash pink sheets, mid cap stocks, large cap stocks, mega cap stocks. You have options, you have call options, you have put options, you can buy put options, you can sell put options and vice versa for calls. You have ETFs and you can even be an earnings trader. Literally, there are so many styles of trading in the market. In today's video, we're gonna talk about my six steps to get started investing as a new beginner investor and how to figure out what style is right for you. All right, guys, so I have been investing in the stock market since I was 16 years old. That basically puts it at, oh, roughly about 11 years, I wanna say, 10, 11 years, somewhere in that range. So. Um, I have been investing and learning. My knowledge has been growing year over year, month after month, day after day. This is something that I love, this is something that I breathe, and it's going to take a while to get into this. It's gonna take a while to figure out your favorite style of trading. It's gonna figure take a while to figure out what your time constraints are and how you can best effectively use the time that you have to pick your style of trading. These are my six steps and how I would recommend as a new potential investor how you would get started. Step number one is I would recommend start with as much free content as possible. This right here is a great start. You're starting off with free content. YouTube is full of probably some of the most valuable information you can find for free on the web, bar none. A lot of people sometimes ask me, hey Cameron, what books would you read? I often tell them I don't read books about the stock market. The only reading I do about the stock market is like, 10Ks, 10Qs, reading financial reports about companies, reading the news about what's going on in the world, but I am not reading about companies. I'm watching free content, and you really can learn to invest without anything else. You really could do it with all free content. It does get difficult at times because you never know who's who, who really can help you, who is gonna invest and cater to your style, um, but really there is so much free content out there. If you really work through it and have a lot of time, this is, this is all you would need really. Step number two that I would recommend is I would recommend opening up a TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim account. This is going to be free of charge. They don't charge you anything. You're going to get your first feel for what a brokerage looks like. This is going to be where you would trade stocks. Um, it's going to have all your charts. You also have the ability to paper trade in this account. So this gives you the ability to simulate your trading. You don't actually use your own money, but it helps give you a sense and idea of one style of trading, which is technical analysis, reading charts, and then buying and selling based on those indicators. So Second thing I do, get a TD Ameritrade account, open a paper trading account. Along with that number two step, I would also open up my own account. Now there's many of brokerages that you could do that with. I would recommend if you're first starting out, do start a TD Ameritrade account. You can call them and you can lower your fees. You can usually get them to lower it, probably somewhere right around $399, $4. Um, it's not gonna be very expensive. I don't recommend Robinhood because it handicaps you. It's almost like if your parents always give you Velcro shoes and you got to high school and no one ever taught you how to tie your shoes, you're gonna be at a big disadvantage. Start with a broker that is a little bit more confusing. There's a little bit steeper learning curve, but I promise you it will pay dividends in the long run. I had to learn the hard way, and I always recommend start with something like TD Ameritrade. There's plenty of other brokers out there. I love Trade Zero. That is a broker that has really helped me, and I use that one in conjunction with TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim. And I hate to say this, guys, but I do use some options in Robinhood, but that's because I got started in Robinhood, and I regret that I did it, but hey, you know, learn from my mistakes. Step number three is I would recommend setting cash aside to be able to long-term invest. Every time you get a paycheck, set a certain percentage aside so that you are saving for your long-term future. Guys, there's not any other way to put this other than there is a reason Warren Buffett is as rich as he is, and that is because he long-term invests. Anyone that tells you, hey, you know, I only love to do shorts, or hey, I only love to trade options, or oh, hey, I only love to day trade, <laughs> The reality is, is you can make a lot of money that way, but to make millions and millions and billions of dollars, you need to learn to long-term invest. And so, especially for those that don't maybe have the ability to trade full-time, a 401k, investing in the stock market for the long haul, learning discipline and not pulling out when times get rough, that is going to be your key to success. But start setting aside cash right now. 
Okay, step number four, buy a course. There are so many great YouTubers and investors out there that want to help you. I obviously am one of those and I'm not gonna say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm not one of those at all. Yeah, I would love for you to buy my course. I would love to interact more with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I'd love to be your catalyst and getting you going in the stock market. That is the purpose of my course, and my course is purposely designed to help all styles of investors. It's to teach you the basics. It's to help you with some of those more advanced strategies as well, and it's always a work in progress. I love that I have the ability to interact with a lot of you face-to-face, one-on-one right now, while it's just getting rolling, and as it continues to grow, that probably won't be as much of an option, but currently, I love that I can help a lot of you one-on-one, -on -one and to see a lot of people that have already purchased the course, 2x, 3x their returns, that to me is what is, that's the whole reason I did the course and why it's such a cheap discount right now um, is because, hey, it's more to help those OGs, those ones that have been here supporting me from the very beginning. But buy a course. A course is going to eliminate a lot of the fluff. It's going to maximize your time. We spend so much money on our education. We'll spend tens of thousands of dollars going to college, but sometimes we don't wanna spend a few hundred dollars on a course that is literally going to start paying dividends right away as you learn this information. So I know I'm biased. I know obviously I'm coming from a different position, but. Man, if I could have told myself and went back in time and said, hey Cameron, buy a course, learn from someone else, avoid their mistakes, learn from their mistakes, you're still gonna make your own mistakes, but learn from theirs, it would have saved me literally thousands and thousands, if not over $10,000 in stupid trading mistakes, and if I could have learned those basics from the beginning, it would have made me a better investor and trader bar none, I promise you. I know it's a big investment at the beginning, but I am not lying to you when I tell you it will save you money. And so I'm a big believer. I'm a big believer in courses. I'm a big believer in paying for education, not school so much, but that's a whole nother topic. Step number five, invest or set aside money to invest to learn to trade. What I mean by that is you're going to have screw ups. You're going to have mistakes. You're going to have times that you go, dang it, I wish I could have taken that trade back. I wish I didn't make that trade. We've all had them, I've had them. My, some of my best friends that are some really good traders, they also have had them. We all have those and so set aside an amount of money that you and if you're married or you're you know in that situation, set aside a particular amount of money that you are okay to trade with to essentially learn how to trade because you are going to learn from your mistakes the most. The reality is you don't learn from the times where you have massive gainers, where you make five or 10,000 in a day or even $500 in a day or heck, you know, 50 or $100 in a day. Those aren't the times that you're learning where you're learning is those mistakes and you go, you know what, I wish I had that back. Learn to set some money aside because that is going to help you a lot in the long run. And the final step is step number six. Learn that this is not going to be your career path from day one. A lot of times I meet a lot of investors or a lot of new investors or hopeful investors that go, I want to be able to day trade by the end of the year. I want this to be my primary job. I don't wanna do my normal nine to five job anymore. I just wanna be a trader like you. The reality is, is I have another job. Like I'm still working. I still am running a lot of other businesses and I'm just going, going, going. The reality is, is that frees up your ability to not have to worry about making money solely off of trading. That is the beauty of it. When you get stressed and when you rely on making money off of your trades, a lot of times you're unable to perform at your peak ability. So if I were to tell anyone, probably my major sixth step, it would be don't count on this as being a major source of income. Plan on this being your source to save, 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 and retire and live on a nice golden nest egg as opposed to, hey, I have to make money to pay off my student loans, or hey, I need to trade money right now because I, I need to put money down on, on a rental property, on a deposit, or things like that. Don't rely on your stocks right away to be your source of income. In a bull market, everyone seems like they're a god. When things start to go south, you realize, oh crap, I don't know what I'm doing and you lose a lot of money fast. So learn to not stress about it and learn to not put too much money into the stock market if you, you can't afford it. That's gonna be my biggest suggestion. Thanks everybody for tuning in. That is gonna be my six suggestions on how to start trading. Like I said, there are so many different styles. We have long-term investing, there's swing trading, there's day trading, there's momentum trading. There is so many styles as we talked about in the, in the beginning of this video. Figure out what style is yours. If I can be of assistance in your journey, please let me know. 
maybe take into consideration these six steps. And if you have any other steps that you as an investor or trader have learned over your years or even your, your months in trading, please share them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. I'd love to comment and talk with you. And hey, maybe you'll help out another investor that clicks on this video in a day, a week, or even a year. Thanks again for tuning into Young Money Investments. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.